Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's check the weather twice because, hey, you never know. It might change. Spirits and good, good, uh, uh, spirits today. Good, good. Lobster bisque. You could serve this one to the governor himself. It's rich, creamy, and delicious. With just the right amount of oceanic flavor. The hardest part is finding some lobster, but I'm sure you can do it. Heck, if you're feeling crafty, you could catch one for yourself for the crab pot. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Haley. How you doing? Yeah. I get that. It, 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 get, it does get dry. Back of my hands are actually a little chapped. Uh, information that you guys asked for, and I supply. Where's little Luna? There's little Luna. Hey, little Luna. <clears throat> Hopefully she doesn't grow up to uh, live up to her name too much by mooning people. <laughs> that would be a little awkward. <laughs> Oh, she did what? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice to know. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I need. Let's get this agent. Yeah, we're gonna need them, some more casks pretty soon. Don't have enough coal to, oh yeah, let's, let's, keep, let's keep making some coal. By the way, guys, Merry Christmas if, uh, if, uh, if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, or the day after. I guess technically tomorrow is Christmas, but, oh well. Today is Christmas Eve, which, I mean, still, still a time to say Merry Christmas. I think you can tell people Merry Christmas on Christmas Eve. I guess technically you can tell people Merry Christmas any day of the year, but you might get some funny looks. Well, let's be like... What? What are you doing? God, what are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah. The recommended day to wish people Merry Christmas is indeed Christmas. Or Christmas Eve, I, w I would say. Guess I'm not being too imma immature. <laughs> yes, I'm being very immature. But I'm wishing people Merry Christmas. So immature. <laughs> Premature. Is what I'm wanting to say. Oh, I guess I need to. Seems like there was some cheese. Yes. Yep. Thought so. Some goat cheese. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Need to get that to, down to my cellar. Oops, sorry, Myrtle. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to pet on you. I guess you're not gonna complain. Oops. Sorry, I met you. Trying to think of a funny joke, but I failed. I failed to do it. Which is no surprise to anyone. <laughs> Shook forgot to say something funny. Oh my gosh. Freakers. Sorry, Chopper. I didn't mean to, uh... No, there we go. I mean to almost milk you there, Chopper. Strangely, you didn't complain. Oh. Okay, I just clicked on that pig and it. So that's really weird. They're having an identity crisis. I guess before we expand out more with, uh, with, um, with our animal production, it probably wouldn't hurt to get, uh, to get more, um, another, um, uh, machine up, machine or two up there. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Yeah, I was going to put the cheese down here. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. There's a, there is an empty cask there, I saw. 
Walked right past it. I can go uh, give... Yeah, I can go give Demetrius another present. Guess we need to do this. Wasn't he at seven hearts last time? Thought he was. Did he drop some? Hmm. A one. Maybe not. Hmm. I can't actually tell us whether you've talked to him or not. That's cool. Winter root. I might can manage a gathering up a winter root. It's Christmas, so we may... You know, we're just going to go and talk to people today. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Well, we're not going to talk to that many people. We can go talk to Demetrius and Robin. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Demetrius. She loves Peach, gotcha. Next in 31 points. Okay, so tomorrow I'll, I'll bump up to another another uh, part with them. Awesome. <laughs> My husband almost set the house on fire last night with this science experiment. One of his beakers exploded and sent the fireball into the rafters. Thank you, but I used fire resistant slacker when I built the place. Yeah, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> if he was at work, he would have been fired. But um tsh, wah wah wah. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible shook. You're terrible. You are a terrible person for doing that job. Got a copper ore. Does that help? I guess it can help. Let's go see if uh, if uh, Gus has anything that that uh, Demetrius likes or loves. I guess I'd say he like he does like the coffee. Complete breakfast. Complete and absolute breakfast. So, no, he doesn't have anything that Demetrius likes. Or loves, I should say. See, likes and loves mean very different things. Or it doesn't mean very different things. It means different things. I guess both literally and figuratively. And, you know, or both inside the game and outside the game. So I should say that. Got a bit today. We got a whole bunch of empty preserve jars that need to be filled. And uh, I have heard you guys, and I will, I will do it at some point. You guys want the sprinklers to happen, so the sprinklers shall happen. And I'm not gonna add a mod to make it happen. I hear you loud and clear. No modding for the sprinklers. I just hate to you lose um, some space, you know, inside the inside the squares. Oh, don't drink the coffee by accident. But that's what I'm gonna have to do to make it work for the iridium ones. So we're not gonna do it now. We're not going to set the sprinklers up now. That's gonna be after the end of the year, after the end of the the series, for the most part. To be honest. Because we're, uh, you know, as I said, uh, oh yeah, he likes strawberries, that's right. Or loves strawberries. Oh, dang, that one went there. Um, yeah, at the end of this year, uh, in game year, I will say the series as far as the, the, uh, the let's play is over, you know. I'll say that that, you know, is the case. You know, I've, I've already mentioned this, you know, that I'll be live streaming it. 
And we'll get that figured out when we uh, get the live stream. I'll, I'll figure out the the uh, the best pattern for the sprinkler so that so that everything gets watered automatically so I don't have to do this but I am gonna go out one more space all around I'm gonna make up for the lost squares inside the thing somehow so yeah Dang it. I'm going to have to run and get some some more water. I guess I'll go and do that now. While it's a straight shot. Because I accidentally watered a few times. and That's going to screw me up. Because I think I've just barely, nor uh, barely get through these two squares. I think. Oh, and the other reason I'm going to wait is... Uh, because uh, the the prize for getting uh, getting Grandpa to be happy with you at the uh, or satisfied with your performance is a statue that gives you iridium ore every single day. So that's going to be how I get my iridium for it. So I just slowly be adding sprinklers as I as I do. So yeah, it will give me time to be able to harvest uh, stuff like the uh, the trees and stuff. Oh, dang it. I probably need to water the strawberries on the way back out because I think I have been hitting it really really close as far as using it on my water so yeah it would probably be a good idea to do that way I should have enough water here when I get done with this part also there's a water thing right there so yeah I think that's how I think that would be the most efficient way to do it Of course, the most really, really efficient way to do it is just not screw up at all. I think we all know that, that uh, how likely that will be. <laughs> not very likely. If you didn't know, then that's how likely it will be. Let's go up here and get these mush mushrooms. I almost said mushmallows. I don't know why I, I would have said mushmallow, but that's what I almost said with my lips. So yeah, should might be going a little crazy, a little crazy. It's going a little crazy. No, he's already gone. That's right. He's done gone. He's already left the build, the crazy building. Okay. Oh yeah, let's definitely. I need to go down and get some, uh, get some more bait from Willie. Two at some point. Uh, regular cheese, mayonnaise, yeah. And those, okay. Okay, and these will go in the preserves. Oh, oops. You do that too, though. Where was the empty one right there? Yeah, with how long it takes to uh, for that for cheese to age, that's definitely the way to go. The way to do it is to uh, is to. Uh, only put the uh, higher quality in there. That way it'll take le less time to age. You know what? It's Christmas. We're, we're going to take it easy today. We're going to we're going to go to sleep. We're going to bed early. It's 
spend a little bit of time, uh, some some time on Christmas with the family. I guess I already talked to him. Hey, Haley, Merry Christmas. Okay. Thank you, Haley, for helping me de-stress. Hey, Steve, you need to go to sleep. You know, Santa Claus will, uh, coming down the chimney tonight, so. Okay, good. The, uh... No, 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 I'm gonna turn it off. That way he won't uh, burn his butt when he comes down. Hey, Santa, will you bring me some nice iridium? If you don't bring me some iridium, I'm gonna leave it on! <laughs> Okay. Anyway, guys. That's the end of today's episode. I do hope you're having an excellent uh, Christmas Eve. Or Christmas, if you're watching this a day late. Or had a good Christmas, if you're watching it later. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. Farewell. <laughs>